Hey, this is Flux of FluxWithIt.com, and we're here with Qubit. And uh, why don't you tell them a little bit about who you are and what we have here today. My name is Andrew Eikenberry. Uh, today we're introducing three new modules. One of them is called the Chord, another is the Mixology, and the third one is called the Ana. So the, the Chord is a all-analog polyphonic oscillator, harmonizes seventh chords, have control over inversion, chord quality, and voicing. Each chord degree's got a VCA, and then you have a mix out, which also has a VCA on it. And um, am I supposed to be looking at you? Sorry, are the kid, what, how are we doing? This? It really doesn't matter. No, no, we're going to have fun with it. So why don't we come over here? We can get an image on here. Great, yeah. And uh, why don't you tell me, what's the, what's the HP on this? So it's 28 HP. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about these buttons and switches that we have here? Sure. So all along the bottom, we have this line of buttons. This chooses the chord quality. You have all the standard pop and jazz chords, and then we have a custom option so you can program in your own chords based on any interval you, of your choosing. At the far right, we have the inversion, root, first, second, and third. Then up here, we have the voicing, so you can just slide up and down with the knob here. It's another really exciting feature of it is you have standard or diatonic mode. When you set it to diatonic mode, it's going to choose the chord quality based on the incoming sequence to the course frequency of the root chord degree. Which means if you just send a bass line, it's going to harmonize your chords to that bass line. You don't have to choose the chord quality. It's going to do it in any mode you want already. So, That's awesome. right. So really, tell us a little bit about the wave. Tell us a little bit about the waveforms that you have. Sure. So they're all analog waveforms. Each chord degree has you can morph between sine, triangle, saw, and square. A smooth interpolation via the the pot or CV. And then they can be they're completely independent of each other. You can use a uh, gate input on here to select your chord? Yes, yes. So every single parameter has CV, right? You can um, use a gate or the button for the chord quality for the um, for the inversion, as well as if you send it, it's not a gate signal for the voicing, it's just a, it's a CV signal that's expecting. So it's a rising edge? Uh, yeah, the gate signals are, yes. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, what else do we have in here? I see an Eon. What, what is this module here? So the Eon's um, the 2 HP. Envelope, oscillator, and noise source, source, depending upon how it's configured. It, uh, when it's an envelope, you have a control over attack decay, CV over the decay, and then you have a gate out at the end of attack. When it's an oscillator mode, you have a full range square wave oscillator with uh, coarse frequency, fine frequency, obviously a proactive input, and you also get a triangle LFO output. And then in noise mode, it's a digital noise and you can set it to just constantly emit the noise or you can switch it over here and then it becomes a triggered noise. If you just send it a gate signal, it's going to be, it's going to envelope itself. It's got its own built-in VCA. So that's the, that's the Eon. And what do we have for the Octone? The Octone, we just released last month. It's a eight step sequencer with ratcheting and a gate out per step. So it's, it, in addition to the gate out per step, you have a master, which um, you can either, you can assign each step to it or not which really facilitates complex gate programming for sequences and, um, and whatnot, rhythm. All right, and then we have the, uh, what is this, the Triger? The Triger, yeah, so it's an unquantized pattern recorder with arcade buttons. Very ergonomic, intuitive, easy setup, great for performing. And what's really awesome about it is it allows you to create human rhythms. It allows us to play the rhythms and then loop them, and then it provides a clock output so you can clock your entire patch while still having rhythms that you play loop in time with everything else you're clocking. And uh, what, what is this that we have over here? So this is a VCA module. It's called the Big Guts, a quad VCA. It hasn't been released yet. 4 HP, and it can be either a VCA or a ducker. So if you flip the toggle, instead of amplifying in relation to the, the incoming CV, it becomes inversely proportional to it, meaning it will duck your audio instead of amplify it with an envelope sent to it. Excellent. Other module we're really excited about is Mixology here. Eight channel mixer. CV over pan, solo mute buttons with gate inputs as well, uh, four stereo inputs, and then um, you got the you have volume faders for each channel as well as a master. And how many HP was that again? That's 24. Excellent. All right, well, thank you very much, and I, I look forward to covering this a little bit more, and uh, we'll, we'll check out a few of the other modules later on. And, uh